Hey, keep on watching. If you got this and you can follow the directions, woo! If you need to watch me, that's cool too. So, step one, got a square piece of paper with a white side up. Now I'm going to do step one, two, three, and four in the little finger way. So I go once, crease, twice, giving you a little hard time when it's bending then sort of take your finger and roll it like you would a ribbon corner to corner twice take your time make sure you got it matched up and crease it and then three times three times three times three times and I feel like I didn't quite get that. I'm gonna double check that. Three times, three times, three times. Three triangles. Then I'm gonna open it back up. And I should have eight triangles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Woohoo! All right, now I'm ready for step five. And I'm going to fold it in half, triangle. And I'm going to Put my fingers on the left hand triangle. Make sure those don't move. I'm going to bring my finger inside, <clears throat> fold this the opposite direction, and flatten it out. Then I'm going to crease it, crease it, and flip it. Now it's this tiny little triangle here. And to make this a little bit easier, I'm going to fold this so that the crease is going to be easier to make. I'm going to fold it back. This is just a reference fold. Okay, so it's this little triangle right here that I don't want to move. I'm going to bring my fingers on the inside. I'm going to press it down. Yeah, ignore that. It's Saturday. I don't know why those go off on Saturday. Okay. Line up my edges. And crease it. Look for my frog mouth. So I have the mouth open, two tongues, and the bottom layer. So just the top layer I'm going to fold with the mouth facing me. Make sure that mouth is facing you. See how this diagram shows you right here? This is the mouth. Make sure the mouth is facing you. Then I'm going to fold this step right here. I'm going to fold this edge to here. Step six, and crease it to the other side, line it up, crease it. All right, now I see a big negative space there, which means that I didn't quite get that right, so I'm going to try that again. then I'm going to flip it over and do the other side to the center. When I'm done with these two folds, it's going to look like a kite. Try not to go over that center line. Okay. Then I'm going to crease this little triangle up here. I'm going to fold it one direction. Make sure I'm right on this line right here. And the tip lines up with the center line here. And I can, I can tell that, see the, how the center line is a little bit to the left? I was off a little bit somewhere. Increase it, then open it up, flip it over, take it the other direction, increase it. So I gently press it into place and then I forcefully press it in place with that thumbnail. See how shiny my nails getting? No, actually my, my nails are disgusting, aren't they? Hmm, I should probably like clean those before I do a lesson. All right, this triangle here, it's not gonna move. Bring my fingers in, open the frog's mouth, gently reverse the folds, and press it in. As soon as I try to force it, I mess up. 
So just do your best. Try to match everything up. Ah, oh, oh, see that? That's not good. But I'm going to show you how to fix that. Origami experts would probably be like freaking out if they saw how I did this, but y'all, I'm going to make it work. All right, so I overlapped this. That's not going to work. It's not going to be beautiful at the end, but I'm going to fold that back out of my way because it's going to be a problem later if I leave it. So either I can start all over with this piece of paper or I can just be okay with that. I'm going to be okay with that. Then I flip it over. I do the other side. Here's my kite. I'm going to open it up. Fingers on this little triangle right here. I don't want that triangle to move. Reverse this fold right here so it reverses that fold. Gently press down. Gently reverse these, these folds and line them up with this line right here. Yep, again, it's Saturday. Why are those alarms on? Why do we have alarms? Why do we have bells on Saturday? That's just silly. Silly, I tell you. Silly. Now, the way to get really good at origami, you have to make a lot. Not a thousand, but I'd like for you to shoot for at least three. At least. Okay. Then, here's my politically incorrect statement with my chubby legs. Oh! Step 14, 15, 16, and 17, I'm going to make skinny legs. This line matches up with the, uh, the center line. And then this line matches up with the center line. Crease it with my thumbnail. Always, always, always crease. Then flip it. Turn it over. Press it down. Crease it. Line it up. Crease it. Oh. All right. See this little piece right here? I did not quite get that bottom, so I'm going to try that again. And when it gives me a hard time, I use my finger to try to gently kind of roll that paper so that it's going to be a little bit more agreeable. Ah, ah, <clears throat> went back to the original. Mess up. Try it again. Then I'm going to do my book fold, book. So I'm at this point right here, step 18, and when I'm done, I'm gonna be at step 20. So book fold, remember, just a book, just a book. No extra creases. All I'm doing is turning a page. Ah, oh, just turning a page, that's it, just turning a page. I'm not creating a new, I'm not creating a new crease. So I lift up the first, the top, the top flap and I fold it like a book and I crease it. Oh, so that is there because because um, I did that. It'll be okay. Then I flip it over, book fold, crease it, and now I have my fox. What does a fox say? Ding, 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 ding. Fox don't actually say that, just for the record. All right, and then I'm going to take my fox's nose up to his ears. On the existing fold, press it, flip it, nose to the ears, press it. Crease, 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 crease. Then I'm going to do my book fold. Right? I'm not having to make extra folds here. It's just turning a page. That's all. Just turning a page. Turn the top, not both flaps, just the top flap. I have my Pope's hat. Flip it. The top, only the top page. 
flip it over. So now I have my Pope set on both sides. This is like the egg, the crane's egg, so she's ready to come out. So I'm going to take the top flap, Ooh, not the top flap. I'm going to take this middle skinny leg, hi Charlie, I'm going to pull it out, crease it, flip it, pull out this piece, crease it, make a head, like so, and then gently pull it out. Now, this is how we're going to store them when we put them in our portfolios. So if you, if you get it to this point and you're, you've already seen one like this, go ahead and just leave it here and we'll pull those out later when we're ready for the next step. Gently at the bottom and we pull that out. And let's see how I did. Um, yep, yep, again, uh, I'm pretty sure that this crane is going to be, I think, in a, uh, a counterclockwise circle forever. <laughs> That's okay. All right. Hi, Charlie. Charlie would like to learn how to make origami cranes, wouldn't you, buddy? Actually, Charlie would like to steal my paper. So any second now, I bet you she's going to be, like, trying to steal these for her little cage. Corner to corner, once, twice, three times a triangle. Charlie, don't you like my singing? Uh, Y'all, I'm noticing my voice is like hoarse. That means I've been yelling at you too much. And then crease it. Three times a triangle, and I love you. What do you think you're doing, Messy? No, 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 no. Mine, 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 mine. Back off, woman. Oh, I see something that's not right there. I can see that I have a lot more space on this side. It's not lined up. Hey, 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 you. Nope, you cannot have my crane. She's going to keep trying to steal my cranes. All right. That flap, that wasn't right. I'm gonna just try that one again. Yeah. If I'm not careful, then I have problems later. So take your time. Attention to detail is important. And I'm gonna open it back up. And I have my eight triangles. So I've completed down to stage four. Then I'm gonna close it again. And I want a valley. This is a valley. This is a hill. So it's easier because I want to, the direction I want to curve this or fold this. I'm going to preserve my triangle on the left with my fingers here. Put my fingers inside. And gently press it down. Grease it. Always, always, always grease it. Then flip it. Do the same thing here. This time it's this little small triangle and I like to fold this little small triangle because right now I've got a hill on that triangle. I want to create a valley. It'll be easier to fold. Crease it. And this side. Here she comes. She's going to try to steal it again. All right. The reason I have that rock on there so you don't steal my paper, little girl. Stop trying to steal my paper. All right. Now I'm going to take the fox. Nope. Hank, there is no mouse or rat reference in this video. Stop. I'm taking that away from you, Missy. Here. Take my old purchase order if you want something. Okay. Frog's mouth open. Go ahead. Take it. I dare you. Go ahead. You just totally took my homework. Okay, frog's mouth open. So I'm going to take this angle here, hold it over here, crease it. Do the same thing to the opposite side. And crease it. 